Russian occupiers are approaching the third stage of their offensive operation in the Kursk region. This was reported on air by Ukrainian defense and security sector expert Oleg Starikov of Channel 24. The first stage was from September the 10th. Then the second stage took place on October the 8th. Now they have had a certain lull and now they will begin the third stage. In the first stage, they occupied certain bridgeheads with their airborne troops, Starikov said. He emphasized that at the second stage, they secured these bridgeheads, Lyubimovka, Zeleny, Shlyak. According to the experts, the Russians' tactics are to cut off Ukrainian troops in the northern bridgehead of the Kursk region in the Koronevo zeleny Shlyak direction. And after that, if they succeed, they will go south and try to reach the state border. Therefore, I think that in the third 10 days of October, active military actions will begin and the enemy will begin to push back. Earlier, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sirsky, stated that the situation in Kursk region remains under the control of the Defense Forces of Ukraine. According to him, the enemy failed to seize the initiative here. Meanwhile, military expert Roman Svitang is convinced that Ukraine has managed to achieve one of the goals it pursued in the Kursk region. According to the expert, if the Russians had transferred 50,000 troops from the Kursk region to the Donbass, the occupiers would already be standing near Pavlograd. Some experts say that third stage of Russian attack can also fail. The incursion launched on August the 6th from northern Ukraine into Russia's Kursk region caught Moscow off guard and boosted the morale of Ukrainians exhausted more than two years into Russia's invasion. Kyiv said one of the aims of the offensive, the largest by a foreign army on Russian soil since World War II, was to divert Moscow's forces from fighting in eastern Ukraine. For many Ukrainian soldiers, the Kursk offensive is still a source of pride. Sergei, a soldier just back from Kursk, said the morale and political gains were worth the gamble. Ukraine captured scores of Russian conscripts in the Kursk region who can help Kyiv get its own prisoners of war back. And the Kursk operation, Sergei said, created a beautiful propaganda picture that Ukraine can conquer and conduct offensive operations. The signal was important to Ukraine's exhausted population and servicemen. Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Emirati counterpart Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan held official talks in the Kremlin on Monday. The trade turnover between Russia and UAE declined in 2024, Putin said in his opening remarks. Despite the threefold growth of trade turnover over the last three years, we have nevertheless observed some downward correction over the last seven months. We agreed that our colleagues would work on these issues separately the Russian president added. Speaking about involvement in the exchange of prisoners of war between Russia and Ukraine, Al Nayan said the UAE is always ready for any additional effort in this regard and any effort to help resolve crises in a way that serves the interests of all parties and supports peace in the world. The two leaders met at an informal dinner on Sunday evening where they discussed the situation in the Middle East and Ukraine. Al Nayan will also take part in the BRIC summit in Kazan this week. Мы имели вчера удовольствие встретиться с господином президентом в неформальной обстановке, поговорить о всех чувствительных моментах нашего сотрудничества, обратить внимание на те вопросы, которые требуют особого внимания с нашей стороны, поскольку, несмотря на трехкратный Рост за последние три года товарооборота все-таки на в течение в течение последних семи месяцев мы наблюдаем некоторую коррекцию в сторону снижения. Договорились о том, что наши коллеги поработают над этими вопросами отдельно. И сегодня у нас такая возможность есть.
уважаемому гостю для тоже вступительных слов, а затем Антез Адель Фурса Лешкурком Аля Тасхил Мухаммед Васат Атлимарат Каблайям Литабадель Асрабин Русия в Украине Вахадихи Алвасат Атасаа Миндабидайет Алямал Джари Вана Атез Билямал Макум Фихада Алджана Блинсани Лилимарат Мустаадда Дайман Лайджат Ивафи Фихада Шан وأي جهد للمساعدة في تسوية الأزمات بما يصب في مصلحة جميع الأطراف ويدعم السلام في العالم مساهمة كبيرة في تحقيق ذا إعلان الشراكة الاستراتيجية بين بلدينا عام 2018 شهدت هذه العلاقات تطورا نوعيا خاصة في مجالات الاقتصاد والتجارة والطاقة وغيرها ففي عام 2018 كان حجم التبادل التجاري غير النفطي مثل ما ذكرت البارح 2.5 مليار دولار لكن هذا الرقم وصل العام الماضي إلى أكثر من 11 مليار دولار مهمة لتعزيز العلاقات الاقتصادية مع روسيا